Welcome to One-Off Coder. I'm Dr. Vang. Today, we'll be coding a slot machine game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This slot machine game will mimic a casino slot machine where one has to pull the lever and get matching items on all three drums. However, in our simple little game, we will only rotate through two numbers to give us a better chance of winning. Each time the user clicks the lever button, the computer will generate three random numbers independently. If all three numbers match, a boing song will be made to indicate a win. Let's get to the code. Here, we are using VS Code to code our game. To the left, you can see the two files we will need to code our game. The boing mp3 file will be the sound effect played when all three numbers match. The index.html stores our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code. The idea is to be minimalistic in our design of the game. The structure of the code resembles one of our other games, namely the guessing game. Look below for links to that game. Our HTML is very simple. We have the standard HTML, head, and body tags. Inside the head tag, we have metadata such as our title. We also store our CSS and JavaScript code in the head tag. Remember to always keep in mind the mental model of web programming. HTML codes our content, CSS codes the style, and JavaScript codes the behavior. The body is where the meat of our HTML elements live. We have an H1 tag to display our game title. Although not ideal, the button tag is what the user will press to get the computer to generate random numbers. There is a table with a single row, and in that row, there are three columns, each representing the drum of a slot machine where the random numbers will be placed. A div is created to signal to the user if and when all three numbers match. Lastly, there is an audio tag to reference the Boeing MP3 file. We have added ID attributes to some of these HTML elements as we will need to reference them later from the JavaScript. In the CSS, we specify for the font to be monospace for all elements. The body element's background color is set to light blue. We then declare a CSS class called dot slot number to increase the font size of the slot numbers to be 100 pixels. The CSS class called dot message controls the styling of the message to the user when all three numbers match. A dot center class centers all element tags with this class. The dot lever class places a nice little margin on top to keep the lever button away from the title. Lastly, we set the table with the dot center class to be centered. Let's go over the JavaScript now. The function get random number simply generates a number between 1 and 2. The function get element will use the document object to return an HTML element by ID. The spin function calls the methods necessary to generate random numbers and replaces the content of the corresponding HTML elements. If all three numbers randomly generated match, then we show a uwin message and play a boing sound. Otherwise, we hide the message. We have a play boing function, which actually plays the boing sound. Lastly, we have two convenience methods to show or hide the message. We have a fully working slot machine game coded in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There are so many wonderful ways to improve this game. We could replace the numbers with pictures. We could increase the range of numbers to increase the difficulty of winning. We could play different sounds upon winning or losing. How would you improve this game? The Foo code is open source in the link below. Remember, President Abraham Lincoln said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Here at One-Off Coder, we say, the best way to create the future is to code it. Be healthy, happy, and successful. Keep learning, keep growing, keep coding.